most important ever. And you hear our media, uh, Associated Press, uh, CBS News the last week going, Obama wants his kill switch. Obama wants his kill switch. The kill switch is already in place. And you saw Egypt flip a switch and the Internet's boom, down. And they already have their own internal government Internet. And that's what Internet 2 and this slow migration towards a censorship uh, taxed Internet driver's license ID controlled web. So I'm going to go ahead and go over this article by Steve Watson. We need to get this out to everybody. And the best place for total coverage that I've seen who up to the minute is adding new articles is DrudgeReport.com. Uh, if you want deep analysis of what's going on, Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com for basic uh, you know, full-spectrum breakdowns of what's happening. Brzezinski's feared global awakening has arrived. Monumental worldwide rallying cry for freedom threatens to derail New World Order agenda. We're going to be going over that report. Uh, but uh, this report, again, also from PrisonPlanet.com, Steve Watson Egypt's Internet Kill Switch coming to America. And it's also going up on Infowars.com. In response to widespread protests and mass unrest, the authoritarian Egyptian government has completely shut down the country's access to the Internet, eliminating the use of social networking websites, other effective tools of communication and organization, and effectively sealing Egypt off from the rest of the world. Tunisia has also done that. And, and this is these government grids. This is what cybersecurity admittedly is set up to do. This is the Internet kill switch, and they're getting you ready for it. Internet Intelligence Authority, Renesis, has confirmed that virtually all of Egypt's Internet access are now unreachable worldwide. At 2234 UTC, Greenwich Mean Time, uh, they observed that, uh, I guess that's Egypt time, uh, virtually simultaneous withdrawal of all routes to Egyptian networks in the Internet's global routing table. Approximately 3,500 individual BGP routes were withdrawn, leaving no valid paths by which the rest of the world could continue to exchange Internet traffic with Egypt service providers. And why are they doing that? So people can't upload the YouTube videos, in fact, guys, if you just go to Drudge, I think we've got it up as well. Uh, I think I saw it on Prison Planet this morning. Man shot in Egypt. There's a whole bunch of those videos that are still on our YouTube in the U.S., but now people can't upload. So all you're getting is reports of smoke, fire, the army called out, police joining them, uh, the, the police joining the, uh, the demonstrators who are now torching government facilities and, and Western uh, corporate headquarters. I mean, it is bedlam. We just showed you video of a man being shot from about 200 yards uh, by paramilitary police. Not shot with rubber bullets, shot with a high-caliber rifle round. And you can see he's dead on arrival, dead very soon after he was hit. And there are reports that they are just machine-gunning people right now. So, of course, they shut the web off. Uh, they have arrested, and, and, and this is an example of what will happen in the West if they drop the hammer to bring us into the New World Order. If there's riots over starvation, which we're a week away from at any time, I'm saying it's going to happen in a week. I'm saying from the store shelves being emptied, from the welfare cards not working, you know, the digital uh, food cards, the Lone Star cards we have here in Texas. People don't have physical food stamps anymore, they have credit cards. We're a week away from that, according to the Ministry of Defense in England and our own Pentagon studies. Within seven days, complete rioting in Bedlam. Within ten, complete lawlessness and, um, and, and murder just explodes. And within 15 days, near universal cannibalism. Fifteen days in every study in countless countries, they will be roasting humans on spits. I'm not saying that's coming, but that's... Listen, I remember the Washington Post... In 2000, in Argentina, which there was a saying 60, 70, 80 years ago, as rich as an Argentine. On average, in the entire Western Hemisphere, the Argentines were more wealthy than Americans. They were some of the wealthiest people in the world. On average, they had the one of the biggest middle classes in the world, only rivaled, if you go back 80 years ago, to the breakdowns uh, by Switzerland. Nobody else had more money per capita. Beautiful culture, beautiful architecture, super smart people, and the offshore banks came in and took over. And they imploded their economy again. 
uh, in 2000, 2001, the Washington Post reporter described and, and, and other media described similar reports of an 18-wheeler filled with premium uh, Argentinian beef tumped over and middle-class families in disheveled, ripped, you know, fancy suits. It was described as, you know, middle-class and wealthy families who'd been wealthy just a few weeks before, before the bank shut down, running out with knives, chopping blobs of, uh, of raw beef out of the dead cows and gobbling it. Children, men, women, just bloodily like animals, just gobbling and just slashing with knives. Okay? Now, in the IMF World Bank documents that were leaked in 2002, they described that as the IMF riot. They actually like that. Because once they've imploded the economy, then people riot and panic even more for sometimes up to six months. That totally destroys any of the economy, any confidence, stocks, bonds, you name it. And the IMF World Bank can come in and buy everything up for pennies on the dollar. They then, on average, triple the price of water. They put toll roads on all the existing roads. They triple the price of, of energy, of fuel, of, of electric power, uh, coal power. This is their program. And they want to do something like that here in the United States. Continuing with this article, we need to get out to everybody. Um, that uh, Egypt has completely shut down their Internet. And then Steve Watson breaks down how the similar control grid is being set up uh, here in the United States. The Obama administration, which currently funnels $1.3 in military aid to the Egyptian government per year, uh, refuses to condemn the Mubarak regime. Indeed, Joe Lieberman attempted to justify draconian legislation that would prevent and I mean, provide President Obama with a figurative kill switch to shut down parts of the Internet indefinitely. He cited the communist Chinese system of Internet policing as a model which America should move towards. We have a link to the video of him saying it on Larry King Live a year ago. Uh, and he said, right now, China and other governments around the world can disconnect parts of the Internet in case of war, and we need to have that here, too. He said last June, so about nine months ago. So uh, we've got that situation there. And, and again, this article goes on to break down all the legislation they're pushing. Listen, it doesn't matter if you're liberal, conservative, libertarian, socialist, communist, whatever your political bent is, religious. We better hang together or hang separate. <clears throat> Drudge in the last three years, has been linking to us routinely. He's accelerated that in the last six months. And he mainly links to our articles about Internet censorship and how it's, it's coming. If we don't hang together, we're going to lose the Internet. And I challenge other media like Rush Limbaugh and Glenn Beck and others who haven't really gotten into this much to come out and boldly state the facts that the federal government's out of control and is illegitimate and is openly moving to put the grid in place to shut the web down and sending up trial balloons on the hour to condition us to accept this. We've got to get hardcore. We've got to stop mincing words. I see all these big mainline media corporations lining up with government pr promoting Internet censorship because in, under the new model that Google's announced, they'll be the only ones that are searchable. That's one way they want to start phasing out the freedom of the web. We've got to call a spade a spade and call this what it is or they're going to get away with it. So other people need to step up like Drudge and start exposing Google and the Pentagon's attack on freedom of speech in this country. Folks, you've heard us talk about Home Gain before. Home Gain is now offering a special promo where you get up to $150 when you buy or sell a home with a Home Gain agent you find through their Find a Realtor program. Home Gain lets you compare realtors anonymously. It's easy. Go to homegain150.com to find and compare realtors anonymously. Enter promo code HOMEGAIN150 and receive up to $150 when you close a deal with a Home Gain agent. Share the Home Gain 150 promo code with your friends via Facebook, Twitter, text, and more. Look for Max the Home Gain Gorilla to find out more about how Home Gain is going to pay you. Visit HomeGain150.com today to enter your promo code and get paid for buying or selling a house. That's H-O-M-E-G-A-I-N 150.com.
Is it really possible to get out of debt without payment plans or attorneys? 18 years ago, we developed a program that has made thousands debt-free in just 90 days. It's called Zero Debt in 90 Days, and it works for all credit card debt, medical bills, even collection lawsuits. When I first joined, I was being sued. So I used the program methods, and after filing one piece of paper, the collection lawsuit was dismissed. With Zero Debt in 90 Days, your success is guaranteed in writing. There is no other program of its kind. Don't be alone when creditors gang up on you. Let our team of experts provide the resources to fight back and stop creditors in only 90 days. Guaranteed. Prevent wage garnishments, bank levies, and stop collection calls with our proven program. Call Zero Debt in 90 Days now, 800-477-9256, and ask for free information from an expert expert who also completed our program 800-477-9256 or zerodebtguarantee.com 800-477-9256 or zerodebtguarantee.com I'm Roger Rao at Midas Resources. If you are going through a financial roller coaster because of your investment in stocks, bonds, and other paper assets, perhaps you're ready for a change. You have an opportunity to change your financial security. Get the stability and peace of mind you deserve by investing in precious metals. Gold and silver have been a form of wealth protection for over 5,000 years all over the world. If you have seen your hard-earned money lose value because of inflation, sliding dollar, etc., it's time you stop the bleeding. The answer to your problems is simple. Gold and silver will protect your assets and your purchasing power, physical possession of precious metals, IRA rollover, etc. Call me, Roger Rao, at 1-800-686-2237, extension 178. Take action today when we are still accepting paper dollars for gold and silver. Ready for a change? Call Roger Rao at 1-800-686-2237, extension 178. Again, it's 1-800-686-2237, extension 178. David J. Smith for Newswatch Magazine. Did you know that there's a secret group that has been trying to destroy all ordered government, eliminate private property, abolish inheritance, rid the nation of patriotism and the family, abolish religion and establish a world government? We'd like to help you understand why these things are happening and more about Bible prophecy by offering you an absolutely free one-year subscription to Newswatch Magazine. Just call our toll-free number, 1-800-516-8736. That's 1-800-516-8736. Just call for a one-year free subscription to Newswatch Magazine. It's free. Call now while operators are standing by to take your call. Busy watching riots engulfing much of Europe and the Middle East. Obama's coming in with gun grabbing. That's coming up with Larry Pratt uh, in the next segment. Then we got Lindsey Williams coming up with Bob Chapman. We're going to have them on together. Bob, the first 30 minutes, last 30 minutes, both of them, getting their response to what's happening in the world economy. I haven't even gotten into that information yet, but it is the big central banks that are causing this. They get you into globalism. They get you dependent on their fiat currency. They get the world for nothing. Then they implode economies to consolidate power. They want you poor. They want you broke. But they want to do it slowly. The people are resisting it. Now, I wanted to get to this because do you think the Egyptians or the Irish would put up with the police pulling you over to look for, quote, drugs, strip searching you in broad daylight, and then doing a cavity search buried in this uh, ABC News piece, they go on to admit, and the police chief admits, yes, it's true, they did a cavity search. You know, the headline is strip search. It should be cavity search. And then buried, oh, they also pulled his underwear off. And Well, I'm not going to, you know what a cavity search is. I mean, they're already taking blood warrantlessly. I mean, it's they're trying to set the precedent that they're God. You're talking on a cell phone in front of Walmart. They call the police saying it's a gun. It's this hysteria. So we're all not trusting each other and only trusting big nanny state government. Let's go ahead and play part of this clip. Uh